right, y'all. Thank you so much for taking the time to come over and visit with us over here on Rochester's Heating and Air's YouTube channel. I'm Fritz Rochester. I'm a Kentucky HVAC master contractor right here in Louisville. And uh, guys, what I wanted to share with you today, guys, is uh, I've got me a wicked new uh, digital multimeter that I've actually added to the arsenal out there, and uh, I just wanted to share it with you. But before I actually show you the meter itself and uh, show you some of the functionality on it, um, I actually wanted to uh, take you over here to uh, True Tech Tools here. And uh, over here we can actually get the, uh, some of the uh, descriptions of the tool and some of the features on it. And I figured what better place to come to is True Tech Tools here. Um, guys, I don't know if you've had the opportunity to actually uh, uh, watch some of uh, Jim Bergman's uh, uh, videos. He's the owner of True Tech Tools here, uh, one of the owners. And uh, he's actually got some fantastic uh, YouTube videos. He's actually got some, uh, some great stuff on here as well on his, uh, his actual website here. Um, Jim is one of the, the most knowledgeable HVAC fellers that I've ever had the pleasure and the opportunity of talking to. And uh, he's, he's really dedicated to uh, actually helping us out, guys. He wants us to take it to the next level. And uh, I've been purchasing a lot of my tools from True Tech over here. And let me tell you, too, his staff is uh, very knowledgeable as well. Very, very courteous. I've never had a bad dealing with them. You know, guys, these are tools, diagnostic tools, what, whatever. You know, stuff, stuff happens. And if I've ever had a problem with any of my equipment or any of my tools that I've purchased over here, they make it right for me. And uh, I always have a pleasant experience with them. So nonetheless, guys, I figured this would be a great place to actually come to and actually show you the description and the features of the, uh, the new Wicked digital multimeter I got here. So what I did was I actually typed in amp probe here. I'm going to go ahead and hit go here. Y'all going to have to bear with me. My computer is acting glitchy. So, uh, all right. So now it's taking us to... Uh, to the amp probe uh, page here and what we're going to do is we're going to rifle down through here hopefully okay here we go this is the one I got here guys I think this is one of the the, the top of the line meters on in the industry today um, it's actually uh, you know actually designed for uh, HVAC guys um, for the price I think it's fantastic guys so let's go ahead and click on it and we'll get the description and features on it all right, guys, here it is. There's a nice big picture of it. It's got a heck of a display on the back, man. I love it. Really, really bright. So let's come on down here. Hopefully she'll roll with me. Come on. Another great thing about uh, True Tech Tools, guys, is uh, this right here. All right, if you were to purchase this particular probe here, this amp probe, um, you get 275 True Tech uh, True Reward, reward Points. And they'll be placed in your account, and you can, you know, redeem them when you when you buy another tool if you'd like. I, I might actually save enough all mine. I've got <laughs> I've got a big purchase I want to make here shortly. But uh, like I said, guys, uh, this is by no means a commercial for uh, True Tech Tools. I just I like them, so uh, basically I wanted to share it with y'all. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, here's the description of the Amp Probe ACD 51 Nav uh, 600 Amp uh, AC TRMS Navigator Clamp. Um, I'm not going to read all this stuff off to you. I'd probably get uh, some of the terminology wrong anyway. I probably already did. But uh, anyway, guys, if you want to just freeze the video for a second, you can actually uh, read this, or better yet, just go over to Jim's site and, and, and hop around over there, man. He's got, like I said, he's got all kinds of educational stuff over here as well. Um, all right, this is what I wanted to go over with you. Um, the features. And uh, what we have here is we have a true RMS measurement meter. Uh, uh, we can read voltage measurements up to 1,000 volts, AC-DC, resistance, frequency, THD, which is total harmonics distortion. Um, I've never done that. Maybe I can uh, figure out how to do it. Uh, and individual harmonics form 1 to 25, power and power factor. All right, here's the, let's get down to the nitty gritty here. Uh, it's an AC current measurement up to 600 amps. Uh, capacitance measurements, you know, so we can check our capacitors and everything. Uh, temperature measurement in Fahrenheit or Celsius and it comes with the adapter and the probe. Alright guys, it's actually got the DC microamps on it so we can actually measure our flame sensors and whatnot. Uh, that, this is pretty cool here guys, uh, it's got phase, uh, phase rotation indication so you can tell uh, you know, if you're spinning in the right direction or not. Uh, Non-contact voltage detection, uh, inrush current measurement for motors. That is the reason I bought the meter, right there. Inrush current measurement for motors. All right, guys, we've got the continuity beeper on it, and uh, we've got the min, max, and smart data hold, 
and peak hold. Um, as for the inrush current measurements for meters, uh, there's a lot of meters on the market today that have the max min or the min max on them. Um, I don't really think, uh, don't hold me to it, but I don't really think that those are true inrush current measurements that you're actually uh, getting there. Now there are a couple of uh, premium meters on the market, but I think they actually say peak, peak min and max on them. And uh, I, I believe that's how that works, but don't hold me to it. But like I said, this is a true inrush current measurement uh, meter for motors. So I love that. All right, so let's continue. Min max and smart data hold, peak hold. It's got an auto torch light when clamping. So like if you're in a dark area, you open up the jaws on your on your amp probe there and uh, it'll light up, the, light up the cabinet like say in a furnace and stuff so you can uh, figure out which uh, the correct wire you want to hook to. Uh, large 1000 count display and active backlight and analog bar. Man, y'all are gonna love this. Uh, it's got an auto power off. I think it powers off. Don't hold me to it, but I think it's, uh, it's either 10 or 15 minutes. It don't like power off immediately. Uh, it's got a deluxe carrying case included and it's CAT 5 600 volt, CAT 3 1000 volt safety standard rated. So uh, I just thought that was incredible guys and I wanted to uh, share that with y'all. And like I said, I'm actually going to do maybe a small demonstration for y'all today and then you know, later on in, in my series of videos and everything, we'll, uh, we'll actually uh, start utilizing it. But uh, while I got you guys here, man, uh, like I was saying, True Tech Tools has a vast array of educational stuff on here. And uh, what you can actually do, guys, is when you get to his main page, you can actually click on this True uh, Tech free video library, and it'll take you right to this page here. And here's, uh, here's where you can actually subscribe to Jim. And like I said, he has got some of the best, uh, best videos on YouTube. Let me, let me tell you, I mean, he's, he's super professional. I mean, it's like next levelness. But uh, anyway, guys, like he's got like uh, down here, I'm hoping it ain't going to freeze on me again. We've got subcategories. We've got air conditioning videos. Uh, we've got combustion analysis videos. We've got airflow videos. We've got video product reviews. We've got home performance videos. We've got evacuation videos. We've got thermal imaging videos. We've got great videos from my TT friends. I love that, guys. Okay, guys, I wanted to thank you so much for sticking around with me and watching the first portion of the video. I just figured that... Uh, if you could actually see it in print that uh, you'd actually get a better understanding and, and see the actual description of the tool, the meter, and the, and the features on the meter. And uh, I wanted to thank you so much, Jim, for allowing me to do that, man. And uh, when y'all get a chance, uh, y'all need to uh, go over and check out Jim Bergman's uh, YouTube channel and actually come over here to his webpage, man. He's got so many great educational tools for the HVAC tradesmen and tradeswoman. Uh, like, for instance, like we uh, demonstrated there, the True Tech uh, free video library, uh, tips, books, free webinars, and the vast amount of diagnostic equipment he has here. And I uh, just want to thank you so much, Jim. All right, guys, to no further ado, let's go do some real-life tests with the uh, with the, my new amp probe here. Um, I'm not going to get into anything heavy-duty. I'm actually adding this to my arsenal, so we will I will be showing this out in the field. But uh, today we'll actually do something uh, here at uh, headquarters, and we'll actually uh, do just a, a few small tests with it. But uh, I can't I can't thank y'all enough for watching. So to no further ado, let's get at it, guys. <laughs> All right, boy. All right, guys. We're back out here to the uh, uh, American Standard uh, Heritage 13 Sear uh, two and a half ton uh, R22 heat pump, and we're going to, like I said, do a few tests with our amp probe. I wanted to find one of our uh, measurements on the Heritage 13 Sear here real quick, and uh, let's go for motor uh, 9.5. All right. 9.5 we don't want to see that but uh, let's go ahead and get over here and uh, I got a tight spot in here guys and I'm a pretty big fella but I'll, I'll try to do the best I can but uh, all right guys now what we have here we we broke out our amp probe and uh, basically what we're gonna do we're gonna do a few tests with it and uh, I'm not gonna go into a huge amount of detail um, but uh, I'm actually going to start utilizing this dude out in the field, and uh, so we're going to get some more footage of it. So uh, basically what we've got, we've got, uh, like I said, the ACD-51 NAV. And when I bought this thing, I actually purchased some of these guys. I've been wanting these for such a long time. Uh, they're the, uh, the, uh, the leads with the uh, alligator clips, they're the plunger style, so our test leads. And I've been, like I said, I've been wanting these for a couple of years now, guys. But uh, when I bought this, I said, yeah, I'm going to break down and get them. So anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get started here. Um, let's go ahead and pull this thing to voltage. And as you can see here, guys, it's flashing AC. Now you see this joystick down here? 
Um, this actually, you can navigate through it. Um, instead of like flipping through a bunch of stuff here, you can just hit this joystick and it'll take us like right over to DC, take us right over to AC, DC, <laughs> and it'll, uh, you bring it up, it'll take us to Hertz, uh, bring it back over, it'll take it over here to this THD, I believe that was that harmonic deal. Um, I'm not really sure about that. Uh, I'd actually like to learn something about it, but uh, never done it before. But let's go ahead and pull it down. And of course, we've got like Max and Man, LPF, and we've got our range and stuff. So all with this joystick, you can maneuver your whole meter around with it. So, but anyway, guys, let's go ahead and just do a, a simple test on our contactor here. We're gonna check uh, in the inline side of our contactor. So let's go ahead and take our, our red plunger lead here and go ahead and uh, fix it to the contactor. And we'll go ahead and take our black plunger lead here and uh, fix it to the other side of the contactor. And we should be reading roughly around 240 volts. All right, guys, we're reading uh, 240.1, 240. Okay, all right, 239. All right, what we got? Okay, we're reading 239.9. Okay, guys, well, let's go ahead and see if we've got any pressure drop here, our pressure, our pressure, uh, voltage drop, I'm sorry, guys. I always think of it as in pressure. But uh, anyway, guys, let's go ahead and we'll remove our red lead here. We'll go ahead and take it to the top here of our contactor. Try to get her on there pretty good. There we go. And we'll go ahead and remove our black lead. Put it on the contactor up top here on the other side. And we should be reading at least 240 volts here. And we're reading, uh, so we don't have a pressure, or a, uh, 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 a drop here in voltage. We've actually, we're actually looking really good here, guys. All right, guys, what I love about this too is we can actually on the fly, we can actually utilize our amp probe here for amperage. So on the fly, while we're still connected here with our voltage, let's go ahead and uh, move it up to amps. All right, let's take our jaw here, our amp clamp, and we know that this black and blue wire here is our common wire that's going to our compressor. So let's go ahead and hook up on it. And I believe, I think we said we, we weren't, we were looking not to exceed 9.5. All right, guys. So we're, looks like we're reading uh, 6.5. 6.8, 6.7, something like that. Okay, so th that's telling us we're really good to go on our compressor. But what I love about this too, guys, is this meter actually does watts. Now, once I get my new Testo, the one that I've been waiting for so, so long, um, I can actually actually use this in conjunction and actually get my SEER ratings and my EER ratings. Uh, uh, Eddie's got some incredible videos on that, man, if y'all want to go over and check it out. But on the fly here, we can go ahead and hit wattage. Okay. Now this is showing us in kilowatts. Now if you want wattage, you're gonna to have to times it times a thousand. So right now, at this particular moment, we're running roughly 1,574 watts of power right here. Okay guys, I think that's incredible, man. I think that's something else. And actually too, it's got this hold feature on it. All you gotta do is basically hit the hold feature and it'll stop us. All right, see there guys, we're at 1,580 or 1.580 kilowatts. All right, so you can actually hold that, take it, go write it down, do your uh, do your little equation. But uh, while I still got you guys, maybe we'll uh, do one or two more tests if you all want. Okay, just stick with me. All right, guys, Thanks I for appreciate you sticking with me. I want to shoot one more clip for y'all. The actual reason why I actually bought the meter, um, I think it's one incredible meter, but uh, the reason I actually bought it was to do inrush current. And what we're looking at here, guys, we're back to the data plate again, and what we're looking at here is the uh, compressor motor. And we're coming over here. We actually tested our amps for uh, the 9.5. We didn't exceed that. And what we're actually looking at now, guys, is this uh, 63 LRA, locked rotor amps. All right, guys, so what we're actually going to do here is we're actually going to take our, uh, our amp probe. We're going to pull it to amps. Okay, and what we're looking for is see that icon down there in the left corner flashing? That's what we want to see. And right up here in the right-hand corner is where we're going to see uh, inrush. All right, guys, so what, what I was told to do is you basically just hit this joystick here. And we have inrush. All right, guys, so what we're actually going to do here now is we're going to take our meter. We're going to go ahead and hook it around our, uh, blue and, our blue and black wire here, which we know is the common leading to our uh, compressor. And now we're going to do our first inrush. And I've been looking forward to this for quite some time, guys. So uh, we're going to hit the stat, and uh, it should be just a few seconds before we uh, see our inrush current. So there it is, 45.9, guys. Look how fast that is. Ain't that something? That's our inrush current right there. 
So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and hit this hold button. And we're good. Look at that. 45.9. All right, once we start getting up around that, uh, that mark, that, uh, the, the rating that was on the, uh, on the data plate over there, that might be a key indication that we might need to put a hard start on, a 521 or something like that. But uh, anyway, guys, I can't thank you all enough for watching. I appreciate it so much, and uh, I reckon I'm going to shoot a series of these videos with this amp probe, guys. Thank you so much. I reckon we'll holler at y'all soon. Take care. Hey, y'all. Thank you so much for taking the time to come over here and visit with us over on Rochester's Heat and Air's channel. I appreciate each and every one of y'all viewing my videos and all the wonderful comments that you leave. But uh, I wanted to actually share something with y'all. I actually have these uh, these people on my channel. I think they're some of the best people I've ever had the opportunity to meet. Um, I've made friends with several of them on here. And there's a ton of great information, HVAC information, whether it be service or installation. And I actually threw in a couple plumber buddies of mine also to equal it out. And uh, one of the best general contractors I've ever had the pleasure to meet. So if y'all would, just uh, pop over to my channel and click on one of these icons. And uh, just sit back, grab you some popcorn, and get ready to be entertained by some of the best YouTubers on YouTube today. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.